Happy New Year, everyone! Today, I will show you the evolution of two characters and combine them in a word at the end. I won't reveal the meaning of these two characters at the beginning, so hopefully, some of you can guess what these two characters mean along the way. Let's go. So the first character is much easier to guess with the picture on the left. Here, I'm writing the seal script, one of the earliest script in Chinese history. Can you see the similarities between them? Especially, can you guess what the top part means? The top part means sun, and it's pronounced as ri, and it's actually how we are writing sun these days. The bottom horizontal stroke denotes the skyline. Gradually evolves into the clerical script, with the top part sun or ri being more square-like, and more variations are brought to the horizontal stroke. The whole character looks more flat. Then for the regular script, the character looks slimmer. And we bring new variations like not connecting the short stroke in the middle of the square to the right. For semi-cursive script, we add some feeling of connections between some of the strokes since people write faster, and the character looks less rigid. Finally, in cursive script, we simplify the top part to write even faster. Can you guess out what it means? Yes, it means down. Interestingly, out of coincidence, the pronunciation of this character in Chinese is dan. Sounds similar to down, right? Okay, let's move on to the other character, which is much harder to guess. Let me give you some hints. Originally, it's the people standing there with a big head, then in oracle bone script, the head is flattened out and denoted by a horizontal stroke. To have a more sturdy or balanced character, it evolved into the seal script. Then in clerical script, we bring in more variations in the thickness of a stroke. Regular script stretches the character and make it slimmer. Here's the semi-cursive script. And the cursive script. So what does this character mean? It originally means head. 
The picture at the beginning is to emphasize the head. It also has some extended meaning, like beginning or top, since the head is the top of the body. Finally, if we combine these two characters, Yuan and Dan, together, sounds like it means the beginning of something, since the Dan is also seen as the beginning of the day, right? So, actually, it means the beginning of the year. One way to say New Year is Yuan Dan. You can talk to people Happy New Year, or you can say Happy Yuan Dan.